Good morning. Welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. Grab a cup of coffee. Sit down. Today is Timu Day. <laughs> We're going to be going through hopefully all of these two bags. And uh, <clears throat> I have gone into them and I've priced them, but I have not actually opened them. So first off, before we begin, let me tell you, I am not sponsored by Timu. Everything I buy comes out of my own pocket. That way you are guaranteed to get my reaction, my honest review, um, all the information I can possibly give you so that you can make an informed decision. For those of you who aren't familiar with Timu yet, Timu is an online marketplace. It's kind of a cross between Amazon and the dollar store because I can find identical things on Amazon for three times the price with the exact same manufacturer, exact same product on Timu for so much cheaper. I can also sometimes find that item at the dollar store, which is now usually $1.25, but most times cheaper All right, on Timu. Cheaper does not mean less quality. It just means lower price. Now, yes, there are some things on Timu that the quality is terrible, but I've been very fortunate in almost the 300 items that I have purchased uh, since I began shopping Timu a few months ago. There's only been one purchase that I have not been happy with that I would actually qualify as definitely not worth the cost. So Timu right now for all new users is giving a 30% off your first order. And below you will see the link my link all right to get to timu and it'll have the code for you to get that 30 percent off of your first order but this is just for new users all users get a chance to spin the daily wheel and get an extra coupons or extra percent off it's kind of like a loyalty reward thing they do timu also has the best price match they call it a price adjustment anytime within 30 days of placing your order if the item has a reduction in price, you can get a credit for the difference. In other words, they will always make sure for 30 days that you get the lowest price. Nobody else does that. Timu also does not have a annual membership fee like Amazon does. So, <clears throat> excuse me, Timu also does not spend fortune on big cardboard boxes that they stuff with a lot of inflatables to keep things from moving just to get them to you overnight. Timo was very price conscious in that they will stuff as much as they can into one bag and it's these orange plastic bags. All right. They don't tear. They're taped up like crazy. You may get an item that comes out damaged, but they have an amazing quick instant refund policy, return policy, no hassles whatsoever. They are very, very customer oriented and have some of the best customer service reps I have ever dealt with. I spent years as a customer service representative myself. And uh, so I know good customer service when it comes across to me. Now, the other thing, some of you may have noticed, I don't have a hat on today. My hair is down. I've gotten private messages from a lot of uh, my friends to say, could they please have a video where my head is not wrapped up in one of my baseball caps and my hair is not up? So, okay, this is what you get. Um, right now, it's already 88 degrees here in Arizona, and it is not even 930 in the morning yet, so I'm already dying. But anyway, let's get started with this so I can get my hair up, get a baseball cap on, and get to work. All right? So the first item I have, I paid $1.48 for this. As you can see, this is a humongous spray bottle. This thing is huge. I'm not even sure how many ounces it holds, but I know it holds a lot. Um, I had a lot of smaller little spray bottles, but they just weren't enough for what I wanted to do. I didn't want a bottle that I had to keep refilling. So it was worth $1.48. It's really thick, uh, very solid, good sprayer on the top, adjustable sprayer here, adjustable nozzle. I don't know if you can see that. All right, nice, comfortable hand grip. I like it. I'm very happy with the price. Definitely recommend this product if you want a larger, sturdier, not flimsy. Can you see this thing? It's just like not puckering. All right, this is strong. Very happy with this product. I'm going to put it to use today, which is why I'm opening most of these bags. Let me just pour this out. It'll make it a lot easier. 
um, which is why I'm opening these bags today, because there's things in there that I actually need. All right. Now, as some of you may know, I am very handy, and I am doing major renovations around my house, not inside the house, outside the yard, everything else. And I ran into some problems where you can't use a chainsaw. If it hits the dirt, you're going to dull the blade instantly. There are some spots that you just want to take a little bit off and a little hand blade does not necessarily work. So what I got myself is this is a pull chain. Now it's all wrapped up, so I'm not going to untwist it. I don't know if you can see it. All right. But what it is, is when this is open, you wrap it around the branch, you grab the handles and you saw back and forth and that cuts through the branch that you want to cut through. So this was 77 cents for this. And I got a second one only because I lost the first one. Don't know where I put it. It's kind of small, doesn't take up a lot of space, but it's a great little tool for a little extra trimming that you might have to do. This is what I really needed today. So for $9.67, I don't know if you can see the price on there. I wrote it $9.67. I got not one, but two 16 inch chainsaw replacements. All right. My blades. I've been doing so much, I practically vacated my yard of any overgrowth that it may have had. And I've gone through blades. And if you've ever tried to sharpen a chainsaw blade, yes, it can be done. I have the tools. I know how to do it. But it takes so much time. I don't have that kind of time to spare. So I bought two extra blades, which one of which I will be putting to use as soon as this video is over. But that was $9.67. And by the way, these are, this is heavy. Okay, these are seriously heavy blades. Um, and I can tell by just touching it through the bag um, because there is a spot where it came through the bag here. This is sharp. So I'll be putting it to use. I will be giving you a review after I'm done with it um, so that you can find out how it works. But $9.67 for two chainsaw replacements, replacement chains. I couldn't get that at the big lots or the lows or uh, even any of the hardware stores like ace and true value not for that price okay um next item i didn't price this and i don't know why i didn't price this but i do remember it was under a dollar it doesn't say and i don't i'm sorry i apologize i didn't price it um it's just a little bottle of nail glue this is typically the kind of nail glue i use because when i'm not doing construction i i usually have long beautiful nails my nails are always done always presentable I do them with the acrylic myself, just like you would if you, got, if you went to a beauty salon. All right, I do the same way. And this is the glue that I've always favored because I am rough on my nails and I do things without gloves. If you're that way and you have acrylic nails or if you want to keep press on nails on, this is the glue you need to use. All right, I call it the blue bottle. That'll make it easy for you. It was definitely under a dollar. Just um, go into Timu and click on nail glue. Look for this bottle. This stuff is amazing. Um, I can dig in the ground, like if I'm potting plants without gloves, and my nails will not rip off, um, which is necessarily a good thing all the time. Excuse me, my trash basket's too far away. Um, all right, 44 cents. If you're like me and you have palaces on the bottom of your feet, whether it's from running around barefoot, from a medical condition, Whatever the case may be, if you have recurring calluses, then you know about the little scrapers. Well, these are just replacement blades for those scrapers. And these were, this was 44 sets, all right? And there is da -da 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 -da, 10 blades in here. Can you see that? 10 blades. All right, I apologize if it's backwards. Um, but these are the type of blades made specifically for that scraper. And I find the biggest problem is not the handle that these blades go in. It's the blades... Um, they don't stay really sharp. You know, they are two-sided, so you can rotate them around when you're done with one side, but it's always good. So for 44 cents, seriously, why not get extra? Gotta love that. Okay. One of these is going on my hat today. <laughs> on my hat today? On my head today. See, I need more coffee. Hold on a second. I have my coffee right here. Oh, so good. Um, little secret I found out since I moved down here to Arizona. If it's a hot day, I actually stay cooler if I drink a warm beverage. And I've been told 
apparently it's because my body has to work harder to cool myself off when you put something warm in it. So I tend to drink coffee all day long. But yes, I do hydrate. So don't be concerned about that. All right. Bright orange could get much more orange than this. Obviously, yes, it's another baseball cap. I fell in love with the color and it's not going to let me get it out of the bed. Where on earth? Okay, I'm just going to rip into this. I do have scissors, but this is rippable. All right, so wait till you see this and then I'm going to tell you what it actually cost me. This is um, obviously a baseball cap. Very cushioned brim, very soft brim. Even on the inside, look at this stitching. This is absolutely perfect inside and out. Perfect. It comes with this little hat piece, but all this really does is it keeps the front from folding in. But this front is also very cushiony. It really is soft and it's got a nice lining on the inside of it. Can you see that? All right. And it's got the full mesh back. All right. Now, this one has the I don't know what you call them, snaps, little plastic snaps to adjust, all right, for whatever size your head is. Um, not sure what size I needed adjusted to. I'm not going to put it on right now, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the bright color. Um, this is something I tend to wear bright colors when I'm working outside in case anything happens to me. Um, it's easy for my neighbors to spot me. And they've told me that. They said all they have to do is look for my, my neon hats when I'm working out. So. This hat, this is just, I can't, I can't get over it. This is absolutely gorgeous. And the way that it's made is unbelievable. All right. I'm so thrilled with this. But guess what? This originally cost 87 cents. I kid you not. 87 cents. And since I ordered it, there's been a price drop of 21 cents. So I ended up paying 56 cents for this hat. 56 cents. Now, it's going to be a work hat, so I don't know if I'm going to bling it out or if I'm just going to leave it like this because I really don't want to distract from this gorgeous orange color. I love orange lately. I don't know why, but I just do. So $0.56 cents was listed for $0.87. Cents. Just go in, do a search, baseball caps, all right, and then go in and sort by price lowest uh, to highest. And these should be one of the first ones you come up. And they come with a gazillion colors. I think there was something like 15 or 16 colors to choose from. And I did get more. You're about to see another one um, that I also only paid 87 cents for initially. And then, uh, it's, again, the price dropped on this. So this is the exact same hat, just in a different color. And for that price, I couldn't refuse. This one is lavender. Pull that out of there. All right, so this one is a beautiful shade of lavender. I don't know if you can see that. All right, again, nice cushy padding, nice padding up here. It's kind of almost you can feel like there's a sponge in there, which I love because that's more comfortable on the head. Perfect, absolutely perfect stitching all the way around that. And again, this one has the snaps in the back so that you can just adjust it for however big or small your head is. And it goes quite a bit. Am I getting it wrong? I can't see, but I'm to hold on. Let's do it this way. All right, there we go. So, and it's got the double roll of snaps. That's what I like about it. It's just not the single one. It holds really tight because these are double rows of snaps. So again, <laughs> for a really um, low, low, low price, I mean, even 87 cents to start with is great, but so I got lavender. That one will not be an outside hat, I guarantee you. All right, that's all for that bag. We did that one pretty quickly. So let's get in now to this bigger bag, all right, which I am not going to dump because it's too big. So I'm just going to pull things out of it. All right. These were $1.87. And there are 10 pieces of here. And these are quotes. But I got to tell you, these things are soft enough to be used. Oh, my gosh. They're plush. They're soft. All right. They're soft enough to actually be used as a face cloth, as a washcloth. But there's 10 of them, and as you can see, they come in different colors. You've got three of the sage green, you've got three blue, and you've got three of this. It's actually a coral. It's not really a pink, but so soft. Ten pieces, all these different colors. I literally have now taken my kitchen washcloths, turned them into rags, and these will be my new dishcloths. 
yeah, I might actually try one of these as a face cloth because it's super, super soft. The edging and the stitching is really, really good. I don't know if you can see the edges there, but the stitching is really good on this um, all the way around. So I'm very happy with this. We'll see what happens. I'll do a follow up um, after they've been washed and used and see how that comes out. All right. So this next item was two dollars and fifty five cents. These are four gallon size trash bags. In other words, the, the little trash bins that you have, like maybe next to your bed or in the bathroom, um, just the little ones that you scatter around the house. This was a total of 75 bags. There was a fifth roll in here. They come with five rolls, but I've taken one roll out and started using them. These are, for the price, they're okay. They're thin. All right. You're not going to want to put anything really, really heavy in this. In other words, this is not for cans. This is the typical liner bag that you would need for like throwing away Q-tips or tissues or anything that you might use in the bathroom. Um, but it's definitely not, I mean, it's pretty strong when it's doubled up, but when it's thin, see this pretty, pretty thin, um, but it serves a purpose. I've got four little cans around the house um, that I put them in and so far they're working fine. As, as long as I don't overload them with any heavy items, um, then they they were great. And they're big enough that you can tie them around the edge of the can to make them stay up. Because being this thin, they won't stay up too easy. But I definitely thought it was worth the price. $2.55 for 75 of these bags. Um, so far, I'm happy with them. Can't read what's on the front, but I wrote everything on the back. <laughs> I cheat that way. It makes it a little easier. Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. Okay, oh, yeah, these I have actually used. And I don't know if you can tell, my eyebrows are thin. I like to keep them well trimmed. This was 27 cents. 27 cents for these little tiny eyebrow clippers. All right, they've got a little built-in comb and then the edge here, and it's just enough. They work. Can you hear how tight they are? Okay, so they work beautifully to trim the eyebrows and keep those weird growing ones out of the way. I absolutely love these. I cannot believe they were only 27 cents. For 27 cents, I highly recommend them. They're pretty sturdy too. Okay, they're not, they, they don't, they're not bending. They have this nice grip. They have the bigger hole. If you know, depending on how you want to do them, if you want to cut them this way or if you want to cut this way, it doesn't matter. It'll work either way. I have found that uh, it kind of helps when I do one side to be able to switch it and then do the other side. No problems. They work beautifully. And my eyebrows are a testament to that. See? <laughs> okay. Don't look too close at anything else, though. All right. Uh, 57 cents. Now, some of you that know me know that I have my own jewelry business. I make quality costume jewelry very unique i try to use uh, my imagination when i'm putting things together and i'm always looking for low-cost templates to be able to bling them out or modify them based on what my customers like so for 57 cents i got this adorable pair of earrings okay now the top the little brown disc is wood and the bottom is leather. All right, these are leather. And as you can see, these have lots and lots of little holes in them. And what my plan to do is to bling them out, either to put some sort of beads or crystals in them, just bring them up a notch. Um, I can also weave fine threads through them to really make them look, well, I hate to say it, but a little bit more hippie. Uh, which is true boho to make something look more like the 60s and 70s when you were a hippie. Um, if you want to know what boho is, you need to talk to a baby boomer like me because not everything that you hear people call as boho is actually boho. But once I'm done with these, these will be boho or bohemian as it's known. It's a particular style. So these will be that way, but they're not quite there. Right now, they're just retro. Um, I love the color though. I love the hot, hot, hot pink with the dark brown. I think it's a great contrast. So for 57 cents, that's going to be a nice addition to my jewelry business. All right. 
Now, I got to find the rest of this. Hold on. I don't know where the rest of it is. All right, so I'll hold it for later because I don't know where the rest of it is. Okay, for 79 cents, I am always looking for little things to either help with my business or help me around the house as I do things. So for 79 cents, I got this little mini knife, all right? Slides open. And I don't know if you can see, can you see the lines in between? All right, that means each one of those lines, when the end gets worn off, you can snap it off and have a fresh blade. So very, very sharp, very thin. All right, this is the way it goes. And I'm always looking for something to either open my Timu bags or to help me with fine trimming when I'm working with leather or felt or something in my craft business. These are absolutely great for that. So this is a repurchase for me. And I couldn't be happier for 79 cents. It does come in a lot of different colors. I just picked the yellow to make it easy to find. All right. What's next? Oh, here we go. So this is a two-parter. Bear with me a second. I got to open this one bag. I got to cut it open. And I got to cut this one open. All right. So for a total of 78 cents, show you what I got for my business. So for 55 cents, that's part one. I got this beautiful X-Acto knife. And up here is where you tighten the blade. Um, gonna make sure it's good and tight so it doesn't come out. All right, so I make a lot of those bling bracelets and the chokers that are all rhinestones, but I put felt or soft leather on the back. These are perfect. Can you see that? These are perfect for fine cutting like that. And I love that it comes with the little protective cap. All right, so that's part one, and that part was only 55 cents, all right? The other part that goes with this, <clears throat> excuse me, was 23 cents, and for 23 cents, it's a pack. Let me see if it tells me how many. Five, okay? Five replacement blades. I'm not going to take them all the way out, but here, I'll show you. I can't. I'll do it this way. So you've got five replacement blades. i got it. Try to separate them and not get cut. But anyway, there's five. There we go. They're coming out. There's five blades in here. Nice little case uh, to keep them all together. So when the blade gets done, you have your replacements in a nice safe little case. So the whole thing, 23 cents and 55 cents last time I checked was 78 cents for this. 78 cents. Love it. Um, this was not in a lightning deal. This was actually in, excuse me, I'm getting warm with my hair down. Um, this was actually in the anything for 99 cents and under category. Um, so if you're new to Timo, they do have a lot of different categories. So don't be afraid to explore. Take your time with Timo. If you want to find the good stuff, like I think I've been finding, make sure you read the descriptions carefully. And you scroll through every picture that's provided because in the pictures, you'll find the dimensions. And if you're not sure what those dimensions mean, they give them in centimeters and inches. Get out your ruler, get out your measuring stick, your measuring tape, and look to see it visually what you're getting before you order it. All right. And then be sure to read um, the reviews that are listed because some people will write a review. They'll look at a package and go, oh, that's really nice. And this is a good product. But they'll do that before they try it. So look at the people that have given you either pictures or given you a description in the review as to what they used it for, how it worked, how it didn't work. Make sure you look, do your homework um, so that you are picking out the best product before you order it. All right. Um, I made a few faux pas and jumped the gun, pulled the trigger a little too quick on a few things, but I wasn't disappointed uh, in the product. Only that, well, maybe I could have gotten something else. So this particular item is 28 cents, 28 cents. And I already have two. This is my third one. This is the most adorable little hanger. It will go over a curtain rod. It'll fit your clothes uh, rod in the bedroom. You can hang it pretty much any place you can put a hook. It swivels. All right. It's very sturdy. I got it pink. Simply because pink was one that was 28 cents. If you wanted to pay more, I think it was 68 or 78 cents. You can get other colors. But I said, what the heck? Nobody's going to see it. I'm just going to be hanging. And I initially was hanging my baseball caps on this, but I now have way too many, even though I could put two per hook. 
So what I'm using this for is for belts um, or different things like um, I have, oh my God, what's the word I'm looking for? Pashminas, which is like a shawl. Um, so I have different things along those lines. I'm always looking for someplace to hang something up, put it on a hook. These are also great if you hang them on the rod of your shower curtain. These are great for like hanging your bras and drying your bras, your delicates, anything that you might hand wash, hang it on here. Hang your washcloths up to air dry on here instead of putting them, you know, someplace else where they're sitting wet. You can use this for a lot of things. Um, if I had a way to do it in the kitchen where it didn't have this kind of hook and the swivel, I would use it like I've used a couple other things to hang utensils on. But this is all, this one is actually going out in my office because I do have a rod in my office where I make my jewelry. And I have a lot of things that have like cords and I'm always digging them up. So I wrap the cords, hang the cords around here. That way I can grab my Dremel or my soldering gun or whatever I might need. It'll be really handy right there. So excellent product, nice and sturdy. Okay, 28 cents. I mean, come on, really? You, the dollar store can't keep up with these. Oh, hang on. This is, I have some clothing in here, but I also have a clothing haul that's coming. So I'm going to save these and do these when I do the clothing haul. All right. Okay. Because um, I think we're doing, I don't know how we're doing on time, but I cut this one open. All right. So this was a dollar forty eight. And what these are, these are soap sheets, but these are not soap sheets for the laundry. Can you see how, let me see if I can open one. Can you see how thin these are? All right. These are soap sheets for mopping your floor. All right. Every time you have a bucket, which I have two big dogs in the house, you might've seen them wandering around behind me in the yard. Um, anytime you mop the floor, you just drop this in the bucket. It gives you nice soapy and these clean great. This is a repurchase for me. I wanted to make sure I had some backup because monsoon season is coming down here and monsoon season in Arizona means everything will be muddy. Mud will get tracked into the house. Um, water spots, stones, you name it, dust. It gets crazy during monsoon season. The ground here is so hard. The water doesn't have a chance to soak in. So it, we get a lot of flooding and it sits on top. And when it sits on top and my dogs run across it, ergo mud. Uh, so it's been like April in New York, I guess, with the where I'm originally from, upstate New York. But these work great. These are little wash pads. There is 30 of them in here for $1.48. Oh, then they smell clean. They smell like, I don't know. Um, it just smells clean. It's not perfuming at all. It's not flowery. I don't know, but I like it. It just smells good. Um, it's a nice soft smell. It's not overpowering. Okay. This item was 97 cents. And even though I make jewelry, I don't deal with rings. Um, it gets too hard. I don't like the expandable rings on the bottom. I don't like some of the settings that I'm finding from my distributors. So when I want a costume ring for myself, um, I order it now from Timu. So for 97 cents, I get this absolutely gorgeous pear shape. Can you see that? Look at this with the faux stones around the outside of it. That is absolutely beautiful. It's like a light citrine, almost like a peach color. All right. And I'm going to hope that it fits my finger because my fingers, oh, it actually does. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. This is a size 10 and that's what that finger is. So this is true to size. Look at the stones on the band. Can you see the stones all the way around the sides of this? Absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving that. I'm going to leave that on. Um, this one is in a rose gold. I don't know if you noticed the back, but this is in a rose gold. And I love the way the rose gold complements the stone in the center with that peach color. So very, very happy with that. 97 cents, um, true to size. I will, I do have high acidity in my, my system. So no matter what I put on, even if I put on 925, it will turn my finger green if I wear it without treating it. So on the inside of the band, I brush a light coating of top coat, clear nail polish, or clear base coat. Anything that's clear in the nail polish category um, will stop that from happening. Because with me, it can only take a couple of hours and it'll happen. 
Um, but this, yeah, I'm, I'll definitely have to remember to take this off before I start working in the yard. But that is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. This next item was 78 cents. Oh, my gosh. This is like Christmas in, where are we in now? We're in June. 78 cents. I needed one of these because I'm always having to do touch-ups with my hair, even if it's up in a ponytail, because my hair is so fine. Throughout the course of the day, I'm constantly having to take out the band, comb my hair again, put it back in the band, simply because I'm just doing so much. My baseball caps are on and off, which really messes the hair. But isn't this the cutest little thing? This says, Cocoa Cookies I Like. I don't know if you can see what it says on the front. It says, Cocoa Cookies I Like. There we go. Can you see that? And it looks like an Oreo cookie. It looks like an Oreo cookie. It's very thin plastic, right? But when you open it up, it's got to be, I'm not going to show you too much. It's got a beautiful mirror and the filling is a little comb. Isn't that the cutest thing? But I find that it works. Okay. It just absolutely works because it's very fine tooth. My hair is very fine. So this works beautifully. It goes right back into place, closes down. Get in there. There we go. I have to experiment with it. But it there we go. Closes securely and you have your little cookie. So this is going to be great um, for me to, to basically have it in my pocketbook. Have something handy. I can just slip it in with a little pocketbook. Oops. Pockets in my pocket. Hold on. Hmm. Pockets in my pocketbook. Coffee's like instant relief to me. Oh, more clothes. All right, I'm going to save those for the next. Oh, gosh. Okay. I love this. This was $1.27. Now, normally I don't like to pay a lot, but I didn't think $1.27 was a lot. So this was a very unique ring. And I like the dark green emerald stones. So for $1.27, I did, it's a wider band. All right. So with a wider band, I always size up. So this is an 11. But I don't know if you can see it. These are, this looks like a tree. Can you see like the tree branches? And these stones are actually a beautiful dark emerald green. Right now they look kind of black and I don't know why, but they're a gorgeous shade of green. And let's see if it fits. Ah, oh, it fits perfectly. Okay. So it's a good thing to always, when the band is wider, you're going to want to size. Oh, there we go. Now you can see the green. You're going to want to size up. And this comes with stones of different colors. I think they had a pink and a purple, and I know they had a blue that looked like a sapphire, but I wanted something different. So I got the green, and I'm not going to leave that on. Um, yeah, wider is better. Go up a size with a wide band. If it's a narrow band, like on this ring, okay, a very thin band, then go with your actual size. Um, if you're not sure what your size is, you can get a ring sizer of various kinds uh, at Timu, and they're very, very cheap. All right, $4.89, so under $5, I get this adorable pair of flip-flops. Now, I'm typically a seven, seven and a half, and these were, what size were these? This is a 40. So a 40 typically is a seven, seven and a half, but got this little strap off here hate those things. All right. These are very island looking. All right. Can you see? There you go. So it's got almost like a tweet. And this, I can't tell the material. I mean, it's, I don't know. Let me take a look at it. It's not jute, um, but it's not rubber. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really soft and squishy. I love the band here has the protector and i love the the wide coloring look at this this is little flowers navy blue background all right nice thick bands very very soft and look at those soles all right nice soles you won't slip i love these um i've gotten several others in this size in the 40 so if you were a seven seven and a half the 40 is what you want to go with these are just perfect I absolutely love these. These are so adorable. Can't wait to wear them. Um, Flip-flops are not great to work in for the things that I'm doing, but for $4.89, 
I can't find anything. I went to Target uh, one day, and as I was walking around the store, the flip-flops I had on broke. The cheapest pair that I could find was a little over $5. And that's, I'm talking the rubbery beach flip-flops. They were over $5. So for $4.89 to get a nice pair like this, Timu is definitely a place for flip-flops. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Almost done. We only have a few more things in this bag. Let me take everything out. Uh-oh, did I lose? Oh, nothing. Okay. I was afraid I'm going to throw something out. Oh, I'm saving that for last. That's great. Okay. Um, I got another pack of the 10 blades to go with the foot scraper. All right. So that I have plenty of backup blades. And here is a little foot scraper. And guess what? I forgot. It comes with a 10 pack. But for 89 cents, all right, 89 cents. Here we go. Let me pull this out. You get... Not only another 10 pack of blades. Okay, so now I have 30 backup blades. I should be good for about a year. You get the scraping piece. All right, so this is the piece, like the pumice piece. So this will loosen up everything that's on your foot. If you only have mild calluses, whatever, this is the pumice piece. And then this is the actual scraping blade. This is the handle where everything goes in. These come off very, very easy. It's very, very sharp. Um, I don't know if I want to show you this. All right. You just slide this down so that the piece comes off. And when you fix, when you replace it, you slide it back up. So it slides back and forth for you to be able to access and change the piece. Right now, it does have a blade in it, which is why I'm being very careful. These are sharp. And when you use these, this is a side that goes across your foot because right here is where the blade catches your foot. So you go this way down your foot, the blade will scrape any thick calluses you have, right? As long as you take your time, do not do this with dry feet. Make sure that your feet have been soaking for at least two, three minutes to soften. This works great on the thicker stuff. And then you can use the rasping or the pumice blade uh, for the finer things. So this entire set, 10 blades, this and this for 89 cents. Hello, because this is like a no-brainer. Do I say that a lot? I probably do say that a lot. But some of this stuff here, I'm going to put it back in the bag until I can get it into the house. As you can tell, I'm sitting out on my lanai. Okay, um, 79 cents. I don't know about you, but every time I buy a new hose or a new nozzle for my hose, it seems to leak. So for 79 cents, I got a 10-pack of washers. Uh, and these are the rubber washers that when you make the connection, you put one inside. They're nice and thick, good quality. Same thing that you would get at one of the big box stores. 79 cents for 10 of them. So before I start doing my landscaping work today, uh, I'm going to be replacing this in two of my hoses. So you have a lot of hoses when you live in Arizona because you need a lot of hoses. 88 cents. Oh, yes, I love this. This is a bag in a bag. This is another ring. 88 cents. Now, this has a thin band on it. So like the other one, I only ordered a size 10. But I absolutely love this. Can you see this? This is a little different. Navy blue with the crystals. All right, so I love the dark blue with the crystals. Very simple silver band. All right, silver plated. You can see how it's kind of curved in here to fit your finger. But I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. And for the price, holy cow, I couldn't believe it. Um, 88 cents. And I don't think this was a lightning deal. I think this was just one of those things under a dollar. So let's see how it fits. Ah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Loving it. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I'm not usually crazy about blue, but there was something about the combination of the way this one looked that I really liked it. So it's a perfect fit, size 10, thin band, all right? Um, so I did good on that one too. Didn't have to upsize that one. i put all my rings together in the same band. I better take this one off before I forget I have it on. All right, I got that. Now, I, um, I do my own nails and I do nails for other people, acrylic nails. And I do them for other people. And I also do hair. Um, I 
cut my mom's hair and keep her her hair looking nice and styled. And in the um, assisted living residence where she is, it's a nice little home with a total of 10 residents living there. I helped take care of their hair. Well, I had a really, really old um, comb, a really old tail. So I got this one, 47 cents. Okay, 47 cents, rat tail comb, it's nice brushes. Can you hear this? Nice solid brushes. It's got the, the pick part for parting the hair. All right, you can do it this way. Or if you want to go under and lift the hair uh, for whatever you're doing, it's got the rat tail. And I like it because a rat tail does not have a sharp point on the end of it. So this is a little different than the big old plastic rat tail comb I had for years. But for the price, you just, you can't go wrong. All right. I mean, it's just, did I really? yeah, 47 cents, 47 cents. So absolutely gorgeous. Comes in a lot of different colors, but I got the purple. Uh, yes, I do love me some purple. Anybody who knows me knows this. Okay. This was a pack of 10 and it was 87 cents. And these are little nail brushes. Okay, all different colors, blue, eh, yellowish, purple, pink. I think there's only one yellow in there. Most of them are pink and blue, and then there's a couple of purples. Um, but these basically are exactly what they say. They are nail brushes for doing your fingers, doing your toes. All right. I've also found these come in handy. If I get paint on my arms or something when I'm washing, I can use this to scrub the paint off without taking my skin off with it. So these are really great little things to have. I also make sure that I, when I have a guest in the house, I always put one of these out for my guests as well. So they feel special, like they're being welcomed home. So a pack of 10 for 87 cents. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Um, less than a dime per piece. Absolutely love that. And I like that I have the spares. Should last a long, long, long time. Okay, two more items and then we're done. Thank you for hanging with me. If you stick with me this far, hopefully I haven't annoyed you or bored you and I've given you some good information. Um, I am trying to build my channel. So please, if you did enjoy this um, or if you stuck with me, be, feel free to leave me comments um, down below. And also please like and follow. I try to build my, trying to build the channel and YouTube will show this video to more people when they see that I'm getting more likes and more followers. So they'll put it, my videos out there more often instead of somebody tripping upon it by accident. So if you don't mind, help me out that way. That would be great. Again, I'm not sponsored by Timu, um, but I am an affiliate, which means that they've been very happy with my shopping. And they said, look, if I wanted to spread the word, um, it would be okay with them. So you will see the link and the code that they gave me, um, but I'm not, I'm not paid by them. I don't get free gifts or packages or mystery boxes, any of that stuff. This stuff all comes out of my pocket, which is why it's all stuff that I use and hopefully things that people, other people will find handy. 89 cents. You've heard me say I do my own nails. This is a very small half an ounce acrylic nail powder. Uh, it's just a clear acrylic nail powder. Now, you would think that th this thing is only about an inch tall. All right. It's not big at all. This will actually do about 20 fills. All right. In other words, all 10 nails 20 times or more before it runs out because it goes a long way. All right. So for 89 cents right now, this was preferable for me to spend just enough because I'm not doing my nails all the time. And I was running low. I was almost out of it. Um, I, this is a repurchase for me. I have gotten the one um, that is the pink or the flesh tone. And the pink is for when I give myself French tips so it looks more natural. This is for when I know I'm going to put nail polish on. So I really don't <laughs> use this. Great product. It works wonderful. Um, Owen oh, Nail Mall. I've seen the brand before. Um, and of course I'm so used to using acrylic, acrylic powders, acrylic powder. You don't have to pay for the name brand to get something good. Okay. This is the very last item. This is the most expensive thing to date that I've ever gotten from Timu. However, I got this basically for free.
because I had so much credit on my account from purchases and from price adjustments um, that I used the credit to buy this. So this didn't come out of my pocket technically. I mean, it did originally, but these were from price reductions. So again, because of that price match, the lowest price match, you go into your order anytime 30 days from the date you placed your order, go into each of your orders, click on view order detail, it to be in red on the right hand side, right above the word track, you usually see view order details. Click on that. And then in the, in each or in that order, you will see a selection that says request a price adjustment. That means there's something in that order that the price has gone down on. All right. You click on that little bar. It'll bring up the item. It'll tell you how much the adjustment is. All right. You click on submit, click on the little button that says uh, for credit to your Timu account, submit. They will instantaneously give you that credit what however much it is i had one today that was a dollar 87 on something that i had ordered and it gave me an instant credit to use for my next order um so that's their lowest price guarantee for 30 days so i go through every morning with my coffee i will go through all my orders whether they're in process whether they're shipped or whether they're delivered i'll go through all orders and every day i have some sort of credit um, also before I get into this last item, I know I'm rambling, but this is important stuff you should know if you're a new Timu user. If you, when you place an order, Timu will give you a delivery window, all right, which is usually anywhere from 10 to 14 days from the date of your order. If your order does not come within that window, even if it's just one day late, all right, or if it comes, it gets dropped off in the middle of the night, it's like five minutes after midnight and it comes late because it's on the next day, you will automatically get a $5 credit as a thank you for your patience, right? I woke up this morning to find a $5 credit because I got an item yesterday. It had been split off from the regular package because it was a chemical. So anything that's like sharp or a chemical or dangerous, they don't ship with the regular stuff. They ship it separately. That little separate order for some odd reason was late. So even though that tall order only equaled about two, three dollars, I got a nice five dollar credit, which I already have things in my cart and that will help reduce my out of pocket expenses. So every day, check your past orders, go back up to 30 days and get yourself some extra money. All right, last item. Again, this basically was free to me. Um gosh, I can't believe it. It's like its cost was eleven forty-seven. I know it has gone down. It's a little purse. It comes in a nice dust bag. I don't know if you can see that, which I will keep it in the dust bag. All right. I love this. I saw this on another YouTuber's um, video and I fell in love with it. Look at this little purse. It's got a nice tan, almost an ecru color, beautiful stitches. It's got the gold stitches. It's got that sage green. Absolutely love it. Love this little thing here. Okay. So this opens with two snaps. All right. So it's definitely closes secure. This, you can use it to open it if you pull up, but I don't want to risk ripping this out. It's just cute. This is very, this is plain. It has nothing on it. So I might bling it out. All right. I might put a little something on it just to make it special, or I might change it and put a different charm on there. Um, anyway, absolutely gorgeous. Let's look at the inside. So they've got some paper packed in here. We're going to pull that out. It comes with a large strap, which I'll show you in a second. It has a big pocket in the back. All right. It has a nice big open pocket. It has a zipper pocket. And let's check the zipper. Okay. Zipper's good. It has a zipper pocket in the second. And then it has another open pocket in front. So this will have plenty of space. And in comparison, let's take a look at my cell phone pop my cell phone in there, you can see that it's wide enough. It's about a little bit wider than a cell phone. I've got I've got some wiggle room in here. All right. Um, the cell phone won't fit in the center pocket, but it'll fit neither the front or the back pocket. So it's for smaller things. You want to run out someplace or if you're going out for the evening and you don't want to carry your whole big entire bag, this is perfect. All right. Nice tight snaps. Clothes is good. 
All right. Stays closed good. So you're not going to have to worry about that. It's got the hooks on the side, and these are metal. This is a metal hook. This material, it's like a faux leather, but it's really nice. And the outsides are solid, so it's not going to squish in. Got a little bit of room to spread in the bottom, so you could stuff it pretty good. All right. Um, but these are for the straps. And I did order a replacement strap because I just didn't feel this strap matched the bag. This bag is clearly sage and like a taupe color. All right. Sage and tan and cream. And this looks too Christmassy. This is a strap that came with it. It's got blues and tans and creams, but it really doesn't match the bag. Okay. Um, it is adjustable and it is reversible. Okay. And it says duty 1987 on the backside, which I don't know what it means, but I do have another bag that this color strap, I have like a camel colored bag, a, um, oh my God, a hobo bag, right? Which is very boho, by the way, hobo bags. So this will go great with the hobo bag. And I do love that these straps are adjustable. And so we can actually go cross body. It goes a long way, as you can see. The hooks down here are metal. This is the same uh, faux leather as on the pocketbook itself. This is, oops, I just knocked my laptop. This is also metal. Metal and metal. All right. So it's very well made. But to me, it just does not, let me hold them up together for you. It just doesn't match the pocketbook, all right? Because of the blues and the patterns, it just, it doesn't go. But you know what? I'm happy for the strap. I did order a new strap, which will be in a future order. Uh, but for now, I'll keep that in there. So that's it for today. Thank you. You made it. You hung out. I don't know how much coffee you had to drink or beverage or alcoholic to get through this video. Um, but I do have many more items coming. I actually probably have about seven orders coming and um, various things, household items. I do have a clothing order coming. I have three pieces of clothing here that I'm going to save and I'm going to do a strictly clothing video uh, for you guys. So if you have any questions, anything that you'd like to know, um, any comments, I'm always open to positive feedback. This is the first time I'm actually doing this recording on my laptop. I was having a lot of problems with my phone, but my laptop seems to be much better quality and working better. And this will probably be the only time you'll see me with my hair down um, until maybe winter time. So again, thank you very much. And I do want to give a shout out to a couple of people that have proven to me that I can do this. All right. Coupon girl, Stephanie, I think your name is. You are, number one, you're an amazing mom. You're a single mom, and I know what you're doing. I love watching your videos. Um, you showed me a lot of things and uh, things to buy, things not to buy, what to look out for. You've been very, very informative. Wendy at Kitty Street, love those videos, especially when your mom joins you. She needs to join you more often, even if she's not a shopper. Um, she really needs to join you more because you, your relationship reminds me of me and my mom. And then of course, let's not forget Sherry at Twisted Gypsy. Um, one of my nicknames was Twisted Sister. So I can't, I'm not going to use that for my channel, uh, because I don't want to even anybody think that I'm trying to compete with you because that's not possible. Um, your videos are amazing as well. And there were so many other ones that I popped through and watched and you're all just regular people just doing what I do. You're just getting products, showing people what you get, showing the bargain, showing the faux pas, the do's, the don'ts. It's perfect. So thank you for that. I appreciate you all. If you're new to my channel, which is Connie's Little Corner Shop, all right, then thank you for coming. If you're returning, thank you for coming back and please keep coming back. I love all of you. This has been great fun. It's been a new experience. Since I retired, I've been looking for new things to do. And this is great. This is a blast. So you all have a wonderful day. Stay sweet. And I'll see you soon.